everyone, happy Sunday and I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one I have really, really enjoyed filming. It has been so much fun. Well, parts of it were so much fun. It did get a bit stressful at times, um, as you will see. Um, but yeah, it's going to be more of like a vlog style video. I have basically not been able to work during lockdown, which you've all heard a million times. So I decided I would redecorate my room. Now me being a Libra didn't actually want to change anything when I was redecorating my room. So at the start of this video, I make loads of claims that not much is going to change and things like that. But I kind of tricked myself into actually fully redecorating my room. And I don't really know how it ended up like this, but it is a massive, huge, massive transformation. And I'm absolutely in love with it. And I thought I would really love to bring you guys along with me while I do this little project. And also, usually when I do all my decorating and things like that, Rowan actually does it with me. But as we're not allowed to see each other during this lockdown, I literally did every aspect of this by myself. Um, my mum was obviously there, I could ask her questions and she could help me out along the way. But I am so proud to actually say that 100% of this was done by me. I renovated drawers and filled holes in the wall and just stuff I had no idea that I had the skills to do. So yeah, I'm really excited to share this vlog with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get on into the video. Hey guys, um, please excuse this lipstick. I've just filmed a Look Fantastic box video, which should be up by now. So if you wanna go and check it out, um, I'll leave the link in the little eye. Don't know which side it is, this side or this side. Um, but we are going to start decorating tomorrow. I've taken a couple of before pictures of my room. Oh my God, look at that mess there. Just ignore that. So basically, I have written out a plan of action because that is just how I roll. I like to write plans. Um, so I've got a whole list here of stuff that I need to do. Um, I'm really worried that the before and after won't look that different because basically I'm really bad with change, um, which is an example of why I hate this lip colour because I never wear lip colours like this. I'm not changing an awful lot. Um, I'm freshening up because I really like how calming and yeah, calming the colours of my room are. I love this brown colour. And I love the colour of this walls, although I am changing those very, very slightly, but I'm not painting the brown walls just because um, I'm really scared I'm not going to be able to find the same brown and one, I don't have a lot of money either. So I'm going to try and wash these walls down because they've got loads of like marks and stuff all over them. I've had them like this for years, so the walls are very dirty. Um, so I'm really going to try and clean them, but if... If I can't do that, then I might end up repainting it because there's no point in me doing this whole thing and it looking half done. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try and just wash these walls. Um, these walls are getting painted. My mum has donated some paint that she didn't want. So I'm really trying to do this on as little budget as possible because I don't have a budget. <laughs> so it's mainly going to be new accessories. Obviously I'm, I'm painting that wall and oh yeah, I am re-glossing everything because when I first ever had my room done, not this colour, it was a different colour, I had the gloss, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this vintagey sort of off-white colour because I was really into like vintage, like Audrey Hepburn and stuff like that, that was like the th theme of my room. Um, so yeah, it looks, now I look at it, I really don't like it because it just looks really dirty against the white um, doors. Initially, I was thinking to do everything cream, so it's really kind of creams and neutrals. Um, but then I realised I don't have enough money to buy the gloss. So we've got some in the garage, so I'm just going to use white because that's what we've got. And white is just timeless, really, isn't it? So, And it's going to look cleaner and I'm just going to stop trying to be an interior designer and just do the basics. <laughs> what else are we doing? Oh, and we are refurbing my beauty desk. You can see it just behind me here. Very chipped and very just worn out. Um, this chair here I've had literally since I was born. It used to be my mum's when she was my age and it was in my nursery. It has been purple, it has been pink, it has been all sorts of colours and it just needs a refresh. So I'm going to be 
revamping that, which is exciting because I'm gonna actually feel like a DIY queen. And then most of it is just buying little bits like new candles, new stuff for the bed because I'm just kind of over the colours I've got it at the moment. I want it to be super cosy and loads of candles and stuff like that everywhere. So I'm hoping it's not all going to cost me too much money, but I thought I would take you guys along for the journey of just me redecorating my room because what else have we got to do in lockdown number three? I've already changed the handles on my drawers because obviously I said I'm going to be like renovating this thingy, but I really wanted like the blush pink and gold sort of theme. So yeah, I changed those. I'm already really liking it. So I can't wait to see what it looks like completely redone. Good morning, everybody. God, I look tired. Um, so today's the day we are starting the decorating. I've just started clearing out my room. I haven't finished it yet because I really don't know where I'm gonna put any of the stuff. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be weird kind of sleeping in the middle of the room tonight when everything's all sanded and painted. Well, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to the painting today, but you know, it's just gonna be weird having my room empty. I'm also wearing all my scruffs to paint in. Yeah, I'm just gonna carry on clearing out the room for now. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of time lapses in this video. <laughs> This is what my room is looking like now. It literally looks like we're moving out. It's so weird. Um, got the bed all taped up so that it's not dusty when I get into it tonight. Kind of feels a little bit like Dexter. If anybody's watched that program, it's a little bit creepy, but <laughs> um, I've been looking at my brown wall. I know you can't really see it that well on camera, but there's so many marks and dents and stuff on it that I am now thinking about painting it. I don't really know how much paint costs, um, which sounds really stupid. I'm gonna try and wash it down and then, yeah, hope for the best. But if not, I'll just buy a new tin of paint. I've got the cream stuff from my mum free anyway so yeah I'll just buy a new brown but I really like the brownness on it now I don't really want to change it too much so hopefully I can go to B&Q in the morning with mum and we'll have a little look at colours but yeah for now all I'm doing is I'm gonna just wash down the big brown walls. All right hair is now going up because wow doesn't that look so nice <laughs> and I'm wearing my gloves because X my life. Guys, look at the colour of this water. I genuinely didn't know that walls got so dirty. It's literally the same colour as the walls. Also, I don't know if I've actually ruined my walls. Oh, come on camera, it's not being very good today. It kind of looks like some sort of abstract painting at the moment. Um, but it's got all these like white marks on it, I think from the water. Wow, camera quality is so good. I've just stopped for quick cup of tea. I've done some sanding, hence why I've got the mask on because I don't know if you can see, but it literally looks like I'm an old lady. I've got all dust in my eyebrows, my eyelashes, my hair. Um, so I've done a lot of sanding. I've done pretty much the whole room apart from this skirting board here and the windowsill I need to sand as well. I'm kind of putting that off because it's going to be a lot more than just keying it over. It's going to be a proper sand down of that one. The wall is still looking absolutely horrendous, even though this camera is being crap today and you can't see it. I just forgot. I've got to do the desk too. Ugh. bit of gloss that's like bubbled on the corner of my room excuse all of this this is all gonna get cleaned um 
but I put a smelly air freshener down here and it literally bubbled all of the gloss. And um, so I'm just scraping it off with a wallpaper scraper and it is so satisfying. Oh my gosh, I could actually do this all day. Good morning, everybody. Um, I've just come out to turn my car and look at me, I'm all wrapped up warm um, because it's absolutely freezing today, as you can see by the windows. I literally can hardly see in front of me. It is so misty. So day two, we are going to start painting. Me and mum are going to head off to B&Q, which is why I'm warming up the car. Have I already said that? I don't know. Um, yeah, going to go to B&Q to get some bits. I think I'm going to get some more paint because now I wash that brown wall and it looks so disgusting. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to paint it so i thought what's the point in painting it the same color if i'm painting it anyway um so i've decided on a new color we might already have it because it's quite similar to the color of our living room so i'm gonna have a little look at those because it would save me some money having to buy some more paint but yeah i'm really excited to go to b&q which is so sad i feel like that means i'm becoming an adult guys i'm an actual diy queen um so we've just started it's like literally nearly 1 p.m but we had pancakes for breakfast um i've just filled some holes in the wall which i've never done before so i'm feeling really good and now i'm just gonna crack on with painting so day three of decorating i was planning on getting up at like half past seven um to start the day early but that didn't happen so it's now nearly like 1 p.m i haven't actually started anything yet um, I was going to spend my day doing a second coat on these walls, but I don't really think it needs it. I don't want it to go any darker and it was a light colour on it anyway. So I'm just going to leave that one how it is. So we're starting on the big brown walls. Because they're so dark, I've got to do a first coat of white. Um, I'm going to do a little time lapse of that because I think it'll look really cool just covering it all up. Um, and then we'll start on the colour, but I don't know if I'll be able to get that done today. I'm not sure. Also, I know I've looked exactly the same in every single day of this vlog, but what is the point in getting more clothes covered in paint? So I'm just wearing the same thing, if you wonder. So this is what the room is looking like now. I did two coats of white on this wall um, just because it was so hard. Like even now you can still see some of the brown through it. It was so hard to cover it up because that brown was so dark. Um, oh my God, doesn't that gloss look absolutely awful? <laughs> Obviously the gloss will be getting done, but just not yet. So just ignore the fact that that looks like nicotine yellow. I really wasn't sure whether to stick with the white. I really, really liked the white next to the glittery wallpaper, but I don't know, just me being indecisive again. Um, I think I am gonna go for like the mocha sort of color. I don't really know what to call it. Just because my bed's black, it kind of just makes it look a bit weird having like the black and white. Like, I don't know. I'll probably regret it and end up painting it back white. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna crack on with today. It's so weird in the camera because this behind me looks so, you can kind of see how pink this looks, this color, which I'm really not too sure on, but I'm hoping once I put like the brownie pink colour on, it'll look less pink. But yeah, I do like the white. I just think, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm thinking. Welcome to decorating with a Libra because 
I've changed my mind about 10 billion times, but what do you guys think? Obviously it's so patchy at the moment. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna go for the warmer color just because I slept with it last night. Obviously I have to actually sleep in my bed. Um, and I did really like it, but I just think I want it to be a bit more kind of like warm and cozy and and also that end of the room, obviously you can, the door's not shut at the moment. When the door's shut, it's just completely white and it will be when it's all glossed, it'll just be dead white. And I just think it's just too, too much. So what I think I'm gonna do today is crack on with this wall and this wall behind me, um, painting them this kind of like brownie pinky colored. I'm not making it sound very nice, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna get on and do. Hello everybody. We are just about to start glossing the room. I finished all the paint. I kind of don't want to show you too much because I want it to be a really nice surprise when I do like the before and afters. Um, but obviously I'm literally stood in my room so you can see, but it will look different when it's all kind of laid out and there's not masking tape everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's literally what I've just done. I've masking taped my entire room. <laughs> um, all of the floors got masking tape on it, all around the doors, just because I don't want to get gloss anywhere other than where it's meant to be. Um, and I'm really excited because I have put the primer on my desk and my chair. Look how yellow it looks from before. So I'm going to gloss that one as well if I get time today. And then hopefully, I'm going to do the doors first. And then hopefully that'll be dry so I can go in and out and don't get any gloss anywhere or like on me or get stuck to the door or anything like that. Yeah, I'm so excited. We are so nearly done. Um, obviously I still need to put everything back and like accessorize the room and everything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with the gloss in for now and I'll check in with you guys later. So I wanted to do a little bit of like a before and after of the gloss in because it is so yellow at the moment. Obviously the lighting's not amazing because I literally have one light bulb in my room. If you look, literally just one. <laughs> um, so here is what they look like before and here is what they look like afterwards. So much better. So nice and white and crisp and clean again still got one light bulb so the light in is still not amazing but oh it just looks so much better so it is the morning actually it's the afternoon i lied um it's the afternoon of friday the 15th of january and we are officially done with all of the decorating obviously my room is still a complete mess so I'm so excited to put it all back to normal now I think I'm gonna have a little rearrange of the furniture um so I think that'll be quite exciting to see what it looks like but obviously my tv's here so it makes it kind of difficult to put the bed anywhere else apart from where it was before but I am gonna try it and see but I'm so excited to be done with the decorating all the glossing's done the draw set of drawers is done literally everything even the doors um, which you guys would have seen, I think, in the last clip. Um, but yeah, so today is pretty much just reorganising my room and then I can start having a look at what new accessories and things I can buy, which is actually the exciting bit. So yeah, I'm so pleased to say that we are so close to the end and I cannot wait to show you the finished result. First things first, I get to take all of the masking tape off of everything. I'm going to do it so slowly because I don't want to rip off any other paint. So we've got a slight problem. Camera's not focusing. Some of the gloss has bled underneath the masking tape. Oh, why did it do that? Um, yeah, so that doesn't look great. So I'm thinking I might just either get a blade and try and scrape it off because it is dry. Um... Or did it a little bit that side too. I hasn't done it all the way around, but these were the first ones I did. So I feel like I learned from my mistakes after these. Um, or just get a little brush and paint over it with some of this color. Hi guys, me again. So you've actually caught up to me in real life now to the point where my room is completely done. And I'm so excited to share with you the before and afters because I've just been editing them on my computer here and let me just tell you, they are insane. I really didn't realise how much 
I could change my room just by repainting it and changing a few little things but yeah it just I'm so so happy with the finished result and I hope you guys love it too so I won't keep you waiting any longer and here is my new room this is a little before of my room it was very very dark which i didn't actually realize i did love my room before as you guys know i didn't really want to change much of it but here is the after and i could not be more happy with how it turned out it just looks so much more me it's so cozy and clean and crisp and yeah i just seen these before and afters is so so crazy um, I don't know why my room looks so yellow before. <laughs> As you can see, I've completely changed the room around. My bed is by the window now where my desk used to be. And I kept a lot of the accessories from before because there was nothing wrong with them, like my bedside tables and things like that. I'm just so, so happy with the finished result and so happy to be sharing it with you guys. As you guys know, I completely renovated my set of drawers and chair and I love the finished result. I didn't realize how yellow it really was before, but it just looks like a completely different set of furniture. So that is pretty much it for this week's video. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love doing vlog style videos. When I first imagined doing my channel, vlog videos were the ones that I most wanted to do. So. This one has been such a fun project for me and I loved sharing every step of the way with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about this redecoration. I love speaking to you guys down there and leave a like for this video if you enjoyed and also as always don't forget to subscribe as I would really really appreciate it. Other than that I hope you all have a lovely week ahead and I will see you next Sunday. Bye! Bye.